12 centimeters. We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Oh, you got dressed today? <laughs> I did. Out in the backyard. A little bit of a change of scenery for my planning this morning. We are excited to be working with Osmo again today and bringing you another plan in homeschool with us. I brought my blanket out here <laughs> with my iPad and my planner. This is how I get all my planning done. Cameron's going to be doing storyboarding uh, for our video today and Kendall is going to help me film today and um, of course Savannah is the talent so she is going to be telling you guys all about um, Osmo's math wizard uh, kit today. Your friend did her hair I actually got dressed I'm feeling really purposeful today <laughs> We we're gonna finish up some baking with the kids that I was supposed to finish last uh, week I got to get creative out here because normally I'm out in my uh, Studio office space and Brian has taken that over so <laughs> So I figured I would come out here and just get a couple of moments to think the day through Before I head inside with the kids. They're currently eating breakfast and we're about to head out on a morning walk. I'm just gonna take a few moments, nothing big, just to kind of map out what we have going on, what we've been using, what they used yesterday, um, and some ideas for what they can move into for the next couple of days. Okay, so welcome to our morning meeting. I keep him around for some accountability to make sure that we're moving along in our plans nicely. We have this little morning meeting so we can talk about what we've got going on. It's like checking in with the principal. Yeah, I gotta make sure you're on point. <laughs> Oh, Wait a minute, okay? Okay, so my plans end up looking a little something like this after all is said and done with the end of the week. So learning to kind of plan backwards has really taken a lot of the pressure off and I still end up accomplishing um, lots of things with the kids. So this has been working out really well, um, planning our homeschool days in a more relaxed and authentic way, so. Climb trees in the fall morning. It looks like a Christmas tree. She said it looks like Christmas. Regular. Go. <laughs> Spread your wings Like we use for school? Oh. <laughs> They're all reading together today. They don't normally do this. Cameron says he normally reads by himself. But they follow him. They follow him. What it says? Ideologically. 
Ideologically. Ideologically. Yes, ideologically. At this point, any attempts to live a frizz-free life is out of the question. <laughs> also, any attempts to drink warm coffee, also out of the question. So we just got back in from our walk, washed their hands, and then they take a little five minute break in the boys room so I can um, wipe off the tables. I did not clean up from yesterday's homeschool life. I'm gonna take five minutes to wipe off the tables, get their iPads out, get their Osmo set up so we can get into this math adventure today. So Savannah is so excited. <laughs> and the boys are actually going to work on their history timeline look at how big it is anyway the boys are going to be working on their history timeline of coding and getting in their own math practice today too i'm gonna drink this here cold coffee wipe off the tables and then go get them mm. this might as well be iced coffee <laughs> okay so we got our little we got our little workstations ready i kind of loved having set up this little station to hold like whatever our current um supplies are or resources are um savannah already unboxed this kit um i didn't let her play it until today because i wanted to get her honest reactions and y'all know her honest reactions are always so much fun so i love these little pieces things that they can use to make it more hands-on She's gonna tell you all about them, I am sure. So I'm getting these things out because y'all know how much we love our devices, but it's nice to have something that they can kind of put their hands to other than just touching the screen. I feel like that's so important. We even do that during reading time, just having something for them to do with their hands during reading time. So that's why we have like our book notes for them to draw kind of the scenes while we read, having them paint while I read. Even if I'm doing kind of like more like a lecture type of deal, I still like to have something that they can put their hands to. I feel like that's just so important. I don't know. It just keeps the wheels moving in your mind as you're learning something new. And so the trick is keeping all of these pieces together <laughs> so you don't lose them and they don't become a long lost thought. <laughs> so I think uh, having a space for things is just as important. Um, a space where the kids can reach things, where they know where they are, and somewhat of a system of checks and balances so you're making sure, so the kids are making sure they're keeping up with all the pieces. That's probably um, the most challenging part. This is a little pouch that came with our first Osmo set, which I kind of just repurposed. The markers for another game came in this little pouch, but I think it's great for dropping all of the pieces in because let's be real, they're not gonna put all the pieces back into the boxes every time. So I feel like that makes it super easy for them to clean things up just to kind of toss them in this cute little pouch here. So that's my job. While they explore and discover, my job is to make sure there's a place for things and make sure I'm documenting it all and then helping them clean things up as well. <laughs> I get paid in hugs and kisses. I'm cool with that for now. <laughs> this? I love this game. <laughs> he really likes this game. I think it brings back memories. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Vanna's gonna be doing the math wizard and the magical workshop magical things inside. Dear friend, thanks for coming to win the numbers and I could use a hand at the potion shop and I need some help getting dragons off the ground. Wait, dragon resort is the other one. Dragons off the ground. They connect. They connect? This is gonna be exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Got it. It said hand it to a grown up. 
Set the difficulty. The difficulty of math problems and potions expands as your child plays the game. Set one of the options below that best describes your child's current math proficiency. Three, children at this level are able to add and subtract within 20. They're beginning to work on regrouping. That's you, set to wizard. Look, add in, add in, and sum. How was your day? Good. <laughs> I played Osmo Math Wizard and Secret of the Dragons. I played Magical Workshop for so there's a Magical Workshop and customers line up for you to create potions. To add the ingredients by using addition to help your customers, sometimes they are too small, so I needed the grow potion to make them grow. But then they got too big, so I needed the swanking potion. So they're magical potions, but kind of like chemistry in this field. Science. <laughs> there are red pieces, which are the ones pieces. And then there's blue pieces that are the tens pieces. You know, like place value. I see you. <gasps> okay, I'm sorry. You're so funny. <laughs> you, you. <laughs> For an example, it says, Five plus, this might be complicating, but five or three or four. So that means you can use any number you want, just five, four, or three. Let's say I choose three. Five plus three equals eight. Use eight of the red pieces in the sparkle section. And it scrolls around like a portal. We've made the potion. Ten. <laughs> I am a smash wizard. <laughs> and then your potion comes out, and then you have to do the right ingredients for the next, for each level after you do each customer. I thought it was really cool that they also included the math vocabulary. Like when you have five plus three, those numbers are the good. And then the answer would be the so. Write your addition sentence. Okay, I had her write at the top so that she can keep track. When I come back, I can see everything that you completed. I have to make the potion for three people, but um, each addition problem changed for changes for each people, each, each person in the potion lab. Then we go and move on to the the bakery. So the bakery <laughs> is. It's probably a food problem because it's a bakery. See, sweet potion. That uh, is definitely a bakery. Okay. So you're gonna keep playing while I get lunch ready? Yes, I am. Okay, so now we're moving on to the sequence of the Oh my goodness, no you didn't dust it off. You're so cute. <laughs> so there's a Dragon Guy book. Oh, those are cool. Yeah. to measure the dragon, and then you have to feed him. Avocado. You think he's gonna like avocado? But when you get, not levels, I wouldn't say levels, but when you get to certain places, you get n new badges. I got enough badges 
to be a junior. And then as you get badges, I I got promoted to, no, it literally said I got promoted. Um, I got promoted to started getting eggs because the dragons that would fly away, they, they, they would lay eggs. They want us to take care of it. Do you like math? Yes, it's okay. Well, at least with, at least with Osmo, I do. Wait a minute, you're a whole commercial girl. She's really good at math, actually. I think we've never really had too many troubles with working our way through math because we always make it fun. Yes. And a little more exciting. You're a silly girl. You ready to go bake? Yeah. Yes, let's put that math to work, honey. <laughs> All right, so it's on to baking now. I need my pretty little baker girl. Savannah, you have icing all over your face. No, I worked out I here. I don't. Yes, you did. We needed a little bit more room for baking, so we bought our mixer out here, our flour, our sugar. Time to get a little bit of measurement in. We don't like that. How many is eight tablespoons? Three, four, five. This and this is a one half and one half equals two. Okay. One cup. One fourth a cup. Good job. We'll no. Clean the butter, sugar, until light and fluffy. Yup, half a teaspoon. Yeah, this is the best part of baking. The taste in the dough. Can I start? <laughs> yes. Wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. There you go. Looks so good. <laughs> All right, friends. <laughs> Back to where I started with one last cup of coffee for the day. <laughs> it's really only my second cup, but I definitely warmed it up several times. So today was good. Today was really good, actually. I think that it's confirmed that Savannah is 100% a whole entertainer. She has loved working on this project for Osmo and I've really enjoyed it too and the boys have as well. We really do uh, love their products and thank you so much to our friends over at Osmo for partnering with us on these videos, on this series of planning and homeschooling with us. Now that Brian and Savannah are finishing up the cookies in the house and the boys are hanging out um, in the front yard. I am sitting in the back listening to the leaves fall and I'm just gonna take about 15 minutes or so to update our planner and our homeschool plans with the things that we got into today. I think making the extra efforts to really start to work on uh, planning in a better way around here has been everything for us <laughs> because time after time I have planned all the things out and then gotten frustrated when the kids haven't moved along in the day like I wanted them to. But reverse planning has really been everything for us right now um, because I just start off with a good resource or a good um, basic plan and then my strategy is just to document it's a lot more involved it's a lot more in the moment and that takes a little bit of time to get used to it's 100% worth it also can we just talk about how your friend got dressed this whole morning and how that made all the difference <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us today remember that life is so very full of lessons so our goal is to live and to learn bye don't, don't forget, forget to subscribe, subscribe.